All right, today we're going to check out the HD Smart Bar Amplified Indoor TV Antenna from Antop. And here's everything out of the box. You get the HD Smart Bar Antenna, a variable gain amplifier, an extra piece of coaxial cable for connecting a second TV or FM radio receiver to the antenna. You also get a variety of FM antenna adapters along with some mounting hardware, a stand, and some easy to follow instructions. Now, even though Antop does include a good variety of FM radio antenna adapters, most people are probably gonna buy this antenna for TV reception, so that's what this video is going to focus on today. The built-in 5G LTE cellular filter will prevent any cell phone signals from interfering with your TV reception. There are keyhole slots on the back if you want to wall mount the antenna and that hardware that's included might come in handy for that. Or if you wish, there's also these locking tabs that fit into the stand. And with the antenna mounted to a stand, it really has the appearance more of a sound bar than a TV antenna. So it'll probably fit into most decor without standing out too much. It's about 29 inches long, which is a good size for an indoor antenna. And with that amplifier, I'm hoping that it will do well on the VHF channels I receive in my area because that's all I can receive is VHF channels, which can be tricky to receive indoors. Let's take a look at the detail on this variable gain amplifier. This is where the 12 volt DC power adapter plugs in that's included. This coax cable here is the attached coax cable that is built into the antenna. So this is where your antenna connects to the amplifier here. And this built-in coax cable here is your primary output for your first TV. And this second RF output here can be used for another TV, a digital converter box, an FM radio receiver, or any other over-the-air device that has an ATSC tuner already built in. Okay, now I've got the antenna set up here on a stand in my living room. And the over-the-air channels I receive in my area are all on the VHF band. Not exactly ideal for indoor TV reception. VHF channels tend to be very susceptible to noise and interference. And the channels I get are on RF channels 2, 4, and 9. So right on the low part of the TV spectrum. So I have it here on this uh, stand in the corner of my living room. Usually with an indoor antenna, you might find luck if you have it up higher or near a window that faces the broadcast towers. But uh, I found that this spot in my living room seems to be the so-called sweet spot, I guess, for me anyways. I also have the amplifier set with the gain somewhere in the middle that seems to be the best for my location. You don't want to over amplify the signals because that can actually degrade the signal because it can amplify noise as well as the TV signal. So we'll go ahead and have a look at the signal strength on these three channels now. All right, and looking at the signal strength here, RF channel two, which is on the low end of the TV spectrum, is actually doing pretty well with a smaller indoor antenna like this. The uh, picture is stable, no glitching, no pixelation, and it's hovering right around 50%, which is really good for VHF channel two. Channel four though, this is definitely not a sweet spot for channel four. This is a bit of a glitchy channel anyways. It's really tough to pick up inside reliably unless you're using a, a larger antenna. Even though the signal strength is in the mid to high 40s, there's a lot of pixelation you can see. The real winner here is RF channel 9. Not a surprise, this channel is broadcast with a little more power, plus the fact that it is in the middle of the high VHF band. That's really what this antenna is made for, is channels 7 through 36, high VHF and UHF TV reception. So the signal is uh, pretty stable in the 60s and even touching into the 70s. Not a surprise there. Most 
indoor TV antennas nowadays are optimized for reception of RF channels 7 through 36. Low VHF indoor reception is really either an afterthought or a big bonus in most cases. Some general conclusions about the Antop HD Smart Bar indoor TV antenna. Overall, I was very happy with the performance of this antenna given the fact that it was picking up low VHF channel 2 quite nicely. Channel 4 not so much, but that channel is finicky as I mentioned before. And channel 9, the antenna did a great job with that and that's really a sign that this antenna is made for the high VHF and UHF TV bands RF channels 7 through 36, which is where most broadcast channels lie nowadays anyways. If you're looking for an indoor TV antenna that kind of blends into most decor, looks more like a soundbar speaker than a TV antenna, and you live closer to the broadcast towers, then you might want to check out the HD Smart Bar from Antop.